Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video about a crystal trade I just did and I am so, so excited to see it and share it with you guys because I haven't opened it yet either. Um, this trade was actually for a reading. Um, I have a friend through some mutual friends. We've actually never met in person, but I have a friend online who does crystals, um, a lot of like pectite crystals. Um, so that would be like Moldavite, Libyan Desert Glass and so on. And um, I've always liked her stuff and recently I saw a couple pieces I really liked of hers so I messaged her and I said hey like would you like to do a trade and she's like definitely so um she sent me this with a couple extra goodies I'm really really excited um I will definitely um put down in the description um her Mercari shop Mercari is that how you pronounce it <laughs> um so you guys can check out her shop as well if you like some of these items but I thought I would share them with you and I'm just really excited to see them um, a couple of these things are things I've been wanting to experience energetically for a very long time. So let's get into it. Alrighty, let's see. Alright, so it's in this nice little box here. Hopefully I won't have to get a scissor. So there was actually two pieces I was really excited about. Um, and because she said that my reading usually would cost um, more than what those two pieces cost. She added in a few extra goodies. Now, I actually know what she sent me, as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, so I'm really excited. So everything is packed super nicely. All right, so she has her business card right here. I'll show that to you. It says Moldavite, Certificate of Authenticity. Oh, okay, this is, but this is her card. Um, I guarantee this is authentic Moldavite. It was found in the Czech Republic. Um, and her shop is called Batik Mystique. She did used to have an Etsy shop, but now she's on Macari. So like that. Show you that. And I will put it down in the description as well. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's do this first. All right, so. Oh, she did add some extras. Ew, this is so nice. Okay, so let's start off with the piece that I'm like most excited about here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is Libyan Desert Glass, and it is a tektite just like Moldavite. And tektites, as far as I know from my research, um, are created when a meteor hits the earth and it heats up the sand and it creates glass essentially from the impact. Um, and depending on where it is, what's in the soil, you know, what's on the meteor, different things show up. So for instance, Moldavite only comes from the Czech Republic because it was from one hit. And the same thing with Libyan desert glass. Um, oh, wow. Wow, I can literally already feel it. That's amazing. Um, here we go. Let's see that there. This um, Libyan desert glass is found in Libya and also in Egypt. Um, that's where uh, the, the hit site was. And what's super interesting about this is the ancient Egyptians used to use Libyan desert glass in a lot of their jewelry. And actually King Tutankhamun um, actually had a piece of Libyan desert glass um, carved into the shape of a scarab on his like funerary like jewelry. So this is really, really amazing. So and I've heard that it is like Moldavite, but a little more soft and gentle, but it has similar properties. So if um, Moldavite is a bit intense for you, I definitely suggest checking this out. And um, Liz has a bunch of this in her shop. So if you're interested, she's got amazing prices. Highly recommend checking this out. And I'm just, oh, I can feel it. That's, oh, it's, that's, the, that's the piece I was like, I need some of that. All right, so these next pieces, I actually had asked only for one, but she gave me two. Thank you, Liz. These are little, little tiny chips of Moldavite. I don't know if you can see the green in there. I, they're super cute. Um, there's two of them in here. And I asked her to choose these for me intuitively. So they are in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them but I'm really excited. So I think I'm going to either put these, oh wow, they're so pretty. Um, I might turn them into earrings or I might put them on a necklace together. I haven't decided yet. Oh, I can definitely feel those as well too. So it's really interesting. Uh, my spiritual journey actually started with crystals. That's, that's what inspired me into my journey back in 2012. Um, 
and I've always been obsessed with crystals for like ages, but I kind of gotten away from it. And recently I've been really being guided, I've been really guided to like come back to like the basics and crystal work is like hugely calling out to me right now. So I feel like that's what I want to do. All right. So she also sent me two Lemurian crystals, uh, clear quartz which are just absolutely gorgeous. I love those so much. Those are so pretty. All of this feels so yummy. If you guys want to check out her shop, I highly recommend it. Um, so I believe these are just three pieces of clear quartz, which always yummy. They're so cute. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> So cool. And the last thing, which I'm really excited about because I'd actually never heard of it before, um, Liz also added in this palm stone, which is made out of manatite, which I had never heard of, so I looked it up. And it is another tektite like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass. Let me try to get this undone. <laughs> All right, I got scissors. So I will say everything is packaged really lovely and intentionally. That's always lovely and nice. Yay, there we go. All right. So apparently this is called Manatite. If you're pronouncing that right. Ooh. Ooh, I can feel this one too. I've had this really strong feeling that these crystals are going to, are coming into my space in a really powerful way at this, whoa, whoa, oh my heart's like racing, I'm like lightheaded, wow. I forget where this one is from, but this is the same as like the Moldavite and the Libyan de Desert Glass. <sighs> wow, this is, this one is really intense. I'm like feeling like a buzzing. Yeah, definitely look this one up. I hadn't heard about this one before. This is wild. And this looks like it's been like polished a bit, but in its like raw form, it, it's got almost like the texture of um, Moldavite, but it comes in like, um, it's like round. And I don't have a light right here, but it, it's, it, it is see-through and it's really got very cool like texture in it. Um, she actually sent me a picture of it up to light, so maybe I'll I'll add that in here. So, but yeah, wow. Talk about pa powerful. Now, for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know I'm very connected to Egyptian energy. So, I have a feeling um, this is a piece of jade. I have a feeling I'm going to swap this out on here and wear this all the time. I'm really feeling this, like huge draw to like wear this all the time so and then the moldavite i i have not worked much with moldavite i have a ring with a small piece of moldavite in it and then i bought moldavite years ago and i'm pretty sure it wasn't real um because when i got it i like i felt nothing from it um but these i can definitely feel these so this is amazing i think what do you guys think should i make them into earrings let me know all right well anyway thank you so much for watching my unboxing again definitely check out um liz's makari um, it's Batik Mystique. Love that name, by the way. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, go check out her shop. She's got some really cool stuff. So thank you so much, Liz. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I love trades. They're so much fun. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely make more videos uh, in the future like this. All right, much love. Mwah.